Hey guys, Devin here. So there are several problems that parrot owners and their families complain about all the time. Biting, chewing stuff up, noise, mess, and food problems. I have some small parrot hacks I use that help solve each of these problems. Before we start, I want to thank you guys for almost 7,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful for all the support. It means a lot. My goal for this channel is to create happy pets and happy pet owners. And the more people we reach, the fewer pets end up in rescues. So it really helps if you click the subscribe button and give this video a like. And just one more thing, I love to hear about your own birds and answer your questions in the comments. So leave me a note or a question. Okay, here are some of the best parrot hacks to help solve biting, chewing up your stuff, noise, messes, and eating problems. Number one, biting. Small parrots like to nibble on fingers, ears, skin in general, but sometimes these little pinches are too hard. To lessen this constant nibbling, they need a toy they can chew on right there and ready to go. What I like to do is make a ring toy. Put some paper or a little toy through a ring and put it on your hand. He'll chew on it instead of your fingers. If he likes to chew on your ears or earrings, put a paper roll or a toy on your hoodie strings or hang it from a necklace chain. He'll be more interested in chewing on that. Number two, chewing. Chewing can be a parrot's favorite game, but if it's your phone case, keyboard, or books, you probably want to try and switch his focus. For books, I like to clip a paper roll to the top of my book or the side of my book and he can chew on that while I read instead of chewing on my book. If they like chewing on keyboard keys or on your phone case, you can tape a chew toy to your computer monitor or to the top of your phone. Now the FBI can't watch you and your bird will happily chew on his toy and hopefully avoid your keyboard. What about birds that don't like toys? Remember, parrots copy what you say, but they also copy what you do. So you may need to play with the toys for a second to get them interested. This is why parrots like to chew on keyboard keys in the first place. It's not because they like keyboard keys, it's because they want to do what you are doing. Number three. Noise. Parrots are super sensitive to noise, light, and color. So if they're freaking out, it's probably because it's too quiet, too loud, too colorful, too boring, whatever. And when they aren't content with their surroundings, they will squawk and scream until they get what they want. To help stop noise, change the environment. Wait about 15 to 30 seconds and see if they settle down. Make it lighter or darker in the room. Turn the music up or down. Change the vibe from energetic music to calming music, slow music to fast music. Turn the TV on to a colorful kids channel. The changing colors and shapes are entertaining. You can leave the volume off and just have the picture on. Finally, shut the door. My peep starts squawking when he hears my family talking in the other room. When I shut the door, he's quiet again. Number four, mess. This is one thing people consider buying a parrot worry about, but it's super easy to keep under control with these hacks. If your bird eats in his cage, you can keep seed and vegetable messes at a minimum by lining the walls and floor with paper. Just leave the front of the cage open. Now put loose paper on top of the floor and change that daily. Buy a mini vacuum or a tiny broom and keep it around at all times. I use mine after I feed treats during training and to sweep up all the little chewed up paper and toy bits whenever I see them. Also, buy a little spray bottle and fill it with water. Keep a roll of paper towels around and just pick up the poop whenever you see it. Use the water if you need it. Bird poo is very water soluble, so it's super easy to just wipe away. Finally, number five, eating. Most parrot owners know that parrots need fresh veggies and pellets to be healthy, but many birds don't wanna eat them, mostly because they have no idea what they are. Remember, parrots wanna do what you are doing. 
If you pretend to eat the veggies or the pellets, your bird will get interested. Does your bird still refuse to eat pellets? Make some pellet cookies. I left a link in the description for a video showing you how to make them. They really work for my peeps. Okay, that's it for now guys. I have lots more parrot hacks so if you want in part 2 then like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified of my new videos when they come out. And leave me a comment telling me about your bird. Bye!